The PlayStation 3 came out in November 2006. The first slim model was released in 2009, and an even slimmer model came out in 2012. When it was first released, many had sticker shock at its initial price of nearly $500 for one with a 20 gigabyte hard drive. Just as the PlayStation 2 came with the ability to play DVDs, the PlayStation 3 had the built-in capability of playing Blu-ray discs, which was a major selling point at the time. Although some will disagree, the PlayStation 3 was the first Sony console that supported high-definition game graphics. It was also the first Sony console to feature HDMI output. The PlayStation 2 did have some high-resolution capability, but it wasn't until the PlayStation 3 that true 720p and 1080p output, without upscaling, was possible. It also offered a variety of other audio and video output capabilities. The console has a 3.2 GHz CPU featuring the Cell architecture, also a major selling point. The multi-core CPU is greatly enhanced by an array of coprocessors used for graphics and floating-point operations, among other specialized functions. The GPU is a 550 MHz Reality Synthesizer by NVIDIA, with a name reminiscent of the PlayStation 2's Emotion Engine. 256 MB of system memory and another 256 MB of graphics memory are on the motherboard. The Reality Synthesizer is the core of the PlayStation 3's graphics capabilities, and it can use up to 480 megabytes of the combined 512 megabytes of the console's RAM. The PlayStation 3 was also a significant upgrade in terms of aesthetics. Sony got rid of those wild, loud colors of the late 90s. The startup sound itself is a live recording of an orchestra tuning up before a performance. Some have speculated that it's symbolic of a prelude to playing, much like an orchestra plays, a gamer plays, in a different way. Credit goes to Reddit's shower thoughts for that one. Since it is simply a recording, there isn't much to break down in the way of synthesis. To extract the startup sound, I tried a lot of different methods. Using that software update download from Sony's website, at first I couldn't extract anything until I found a tool called Pup Extractor. That's what I would call anyone who rescues a puppy out of a tree. <clears throat> anyway, using that tool, Pup Extractor, I was able to look at the files, but the package files it extracted were a dead end for me as I didn't have a tool to further analyze those. Thinking that this video just wasn't gonna happen, I was about to give up. When I found out that a PS3 emulator will actually recreate the file structure that's on the console's hard drive. And with plenty of documentation on the PS3's files, I used the emulator to properly extract and organize everything in the software update file. And after that, the AC3 files containing the startup sound were right there, immediately playable on the computer. There are two files in there with the same audio, but one is for the surround sound, while the other one is for two-channel stereo. Alright, so that startup animation is a special CXML format called Rich Appearance Format. Compressed within the file are XML and image resources that are put together and animated to make that startup screen. The audio is stored separately in the AC3 file. The audio is encoded at a constant 640 kilobits per second bit rate, 16 bits per sample at a 48 kilohertz sample rate. AC3 is a Dolby Digital format. It's a standard format for DVDs, Blu-ray discs, and consoles. The PlayStation 3 is the first PlayStation not to use Sony's ADPCM format to store its startup sound samples. It's also the first Sony console that uses a pre-recorded audio file instead of synthesizing the startup in real time from smaller sample files. By the way, AC3 is also used on movie film for theaters. The data here is actually encoded optically in a very similar fashion to QR and other two-dimensional barcodes. I can make a rough recreation, but mine is synthesized, so it will never be sample perfect to the original. 
I'm using a synth here called Miroslav Philharmonic by IK Multimedia. It has some relatively convincing orchestral sounds. Orchestras tune in the key of A or 440 Hz. In this startup, the first instrument I hear is some kind of woodwind instrument, probably an oboe. And in my recreation, I'm probably going to leave out some instruments, but I'm going to go with what I hear. The original console, not the slim variety, had a slightly different startup sound. And the newer, slimmer versions had a shorter and more subdued sound. You know, I wanted to get a PS3, but at the time I didn't have an HDMI-capable television. By the time I finally had a TV with HDMI, the PS4 had been released. I, I don't really watch much TV. But anywho, by the time I had saved up enough money for a PS4, I decided to get a Wacom 1 tablet instead, which, in my case, was actually a far better investment. Well, I think that about covers the PlayStation 3's startup sound. There isn't much to it, since it is just a live recording of an orchestra tuning up, but hopefully you found this video informative, or at least entertaining. Thanks for watching.